Lord God, the most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that you have been given unto us, Lord, to speak and to preach your, your word, Lord, uh, in front of many other people, Lord. Yes. Uh, let uh, use us, Lord, to glorify your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 So before I start, I just want to ask, um, my topic for this night um, is about fulfilling life. Yeah. How do you know, how, for you, fulfilling life, what kind of fulfilling life you have? I mean, if it happens, you can totally die. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone of you? I mean, if it happens, you can totally die. For me, as a human being, if I can see my family and my brothers finish their education, for me, it's a fulfillment. I can totally die for. I can totally die because um, their uh, security and assurance, it's all been there. So for me, that's a fulfillment as a human being. But when I read in this topic, it's all about. This is one of my favorite character in the Bible. Um, can you open your Bible in Luke chapter two, verses twenty-five to thirty-five? It's all about the story of Simeon. Do you know Simeon? Uh, Simeon in the Old Testament, it's a bad Simeon. But here in the New Testament, Simeon is a, a good Simeon. So I will take a read of this um, topic. Um, verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. So before, Mary and Joseph went to Jerusalem, because they have a tradition before. Um, if uh, if you have a boy or a male baby, they went to the temple and offer some sacrifices. We can uh, just hear in verse twenty four, they sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord: a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. They offer some animals for sacrifice uh, for the sacrificing for the male baby. You no. Know? So Simeon here, it, the Bible doesn't explain that uh, his background and everything, who he, he's married or not. He, the Bible doesn't explain his background and characteristics. But even though in a short period of time, his character was very famous, and his character was very uh, popular in this ancient time. So, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Jesus Christ. Wow, what a great privilege that this man of God, um, if he see the Messiah, he wants to totally die. He wants to uh, her, his heart to be at peace. You know? So, and he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child to do for him, after the custom of the law. The custom of the law that was before in the practice of Moses. That all the male babies went to the temple and offered some animals and sacrifices. Uh, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, um, If ever you're in the situation of Simeon, then you, baby Jesus, you carried, you're carrying baby Jesus in your arms. What do you feel? Of course, me, if I'm on his situation on that day, on that uh, event, maybe I don't know, maybe I'm I'm foolishly... I don't know the feeling because the, I don't know, I can't express the feeling, no? Maybe yeah. Simeon also, his, he felt maybe he was overwhelmed on this day. And Lord, uh, he, he said, Lord, now let this thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. And he said that, Lord, you can get me and I am at peace because I, I see the Messiah. I see now Jesus. For, and he said, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. I like to lighten the Gentiles and glory to thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph. And he has a prophetic word for uh, Mary and Joseph that um, he said, Rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Ye a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And my topic for this night is all about uh, fulfillment and waiting. How long you have been waiting for the Lord? Sometimes you are waiting for nothing, like Simeon, no? 
I don't know about his history, but maybe before he's just um, waiting that it is impossible to happen in our life. He's waiting every day to see baby Jesus. Maybe the Holy Spirit, uh, maybe um, he revealed to him that, no, that's the baby Jesus. No, that's the baby Jesus. Maybe every day he is foolishly waiting for nothing. But I really do, I really do love uh, Simeon because he was just very devout and very, he was very just and righteous. And he is uh, a heart of patience and a heart of faithfulness to the Lord. That um, three aspects that we need to learn about here. The Holy Spirit was upon with Simeon. And second, the Holy Spirit revealed to him through, um, through uh, discerning of the Spirit. And third is the Holy Spirit changes the heart. When Simeon um, had baby Jesus, he felt different. He felt, um, he felt different and he felt overwhelmed when he saw and when he seen baby Jesus. No? And he prophesied also with uh, for Mary and Joseph. And I really do love with his character because he was so very faithful and he was so very patient. You know what sometimes, no? Um, we are out of patience sometimes, especially in our offices, in yeah. our boss, no? Mm -hmm. In a short period of time, mm -hmm. of course, we are here in Dubai to work, not to do anything else, no? Sometimes I'm thinking that, um, because every day my boss yelling me, no? I don't know why, even though I made some mistake or not, he's always yelling on me. But I'm always patient and I'm always, um, I don't want to... Uh, what's it called? To, re to revenge to him, what he was saying, insulting me and everything. But um, I put in my mind that I am here to work in Dubai, not in anything else. I am here to work for my family, and not not to do for anything else. Then when I read about his uh, story of Simeon, I was very shocked that um, how many people nowadays they are so impatient to wait for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Um, so, for example, me and Jen as a single person, now we are waiting also for our man to come. <laughs> but we are also praying. You know? That's why, right? We are not just in a rush. Of course, in, in our uh, culture as a Filipino, if you are at the age of 30, then some of your friends that they are pressured you to get married and everything else because you're out of the calendar. That's the thing. But now, My bingo as I'm. Bingo. <laughs> As I've learned that uh, we need to wait upon the Lord, we need to be patient, we need to be faithful, uh, as He promised. No? At, um, in the story of Jehoshaphat, um, the Lord God promised him that um, he will bear his child, mm. he will give to the temple his daughter. Mm. No? That's the story, that's the thing that I really want to imply to all of you. No? Waiting in the Lord and waiting to be faithful and to be patient. Mm -hmm. And wait, I just want to share some verses. In Isaiah 58, 11, And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire in scorched places and make your bones strong and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters do not fade. Mm -hmm. In Philippians 4, 11 to 13, Not that I speak from one, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suf suffering need. I can do all things through Him who, Christ who strengthens me. And I just want to share the key points. Um, Simeon was very righteous um, to his relationship with people. And he was very devout. He speaks to his relationship with God. He loved God totally um, to give his whole entire life. Um, you know what the character of Simeon was very short? His character was only to wait. You know? Some of the characters in the Bible, we saw David, we saw Jonah, we saw Job, we saw everything there. But... As we take as as we take a look here on his story, we need to take a look also some other characters in the Bible, not only the popular, not only the famous in the Bible, but we need also to learn some of the infamous but 
it gives an impact into our life. The conclusion is, the law is why you need Jesus. The human race has never produced a single person who has fulfilled the law of God, not even you. The Spirit is how you find Jesus. The Holy Spirit brings people to Jesus. He brings peace through Jesus. He changes the hearts towards Jesus. We can be like Simeon and stay close to God and wait on Him. Thank you. Mm -hmm.